Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another guide. So today, I'll show you guys how to beat Five Nights at Freddy's 4, Night 3. All right, so this night um, is very similar to last night, Night 2, um, except Foxy shows up almost immediately. So at the beginning of the night, just kind of wait around until you hear which side Foxy runs to. So say if he runs to the left side, I would check the left door first. Um, and then try to follow whichever side he goes to, uh, to make sure he doesn't go into the closet. But so actually this night, uh, the gameplay will show Foxy getting into the closet and how to take care of him that way. So uh, about 1 or 2 a.m. Foxy gets in the closet, which is pretty usual for when he does get in is around 1 or 2 a.m. Um, so for Foxy, of course, if he ever enters the closet, make sure to shut the closet for about seven seconds, uh, come back uh, and make a cycle, say, like I said last video, do like a cycle of door, door, bed, closet, or door, door, closet, bed, whichever cycle you want to do. Just make sure you keep it in the same cycle so you don't skip one and then you accidentally die. So this is pretty valuable for uh, this night because Foxy will be incredibly active so once again with bonnie and chica uh they're very similar to last night except um they start moving immediately um you need to definitely turn your volume up pretty loud to listen for the breathing at all um breathing is really there's quite a bit of it this night so you have to really be ready to you know listen and of course but and then the bed with freddy Still isn't that much of an issue. Uh, Freddy's not very active this night, so it shouldn't be that bad. But once again, just go to the doors, listen for breathing. If you do hear breathing, close it for three or four seconds until you hear footsteps kind of walking away. Uh, this is to help with, you know, knowing to open the door. Now, sometimes uh, when you open the door and you check the light, they're there again and you die so this actually happened to me while recording this video before um you hear them leaving and then you check the light and they kill you so this is a problem just because they go away from the door and they go straight back so it's really annoying but you know you're gonna have to deal with that with this game it's pretty annoying that way but that's how the game des is designed but as you can see here foxy's in the closet so i maintain a cycle hold the door shut for about six to seven seconds come back check the bed as you can see with a full cycle there's only about two freddles on the bed so that's not that bad um but other nights it's going to be a lot closer so you need to uh definitely be quicker but for this night again you don't have to be super fast just listen for breathing like right there um if you still need help with hearing breathing, I would just recommend watching a video on it. You're going to have to have your volume up really high because there's some breathing that is very subtle and you're going to really need to listen for it. But if Foxy never gets in the closet and you maintain him outside, uh, just remember to keep following which side he runs to. If you go to the opposite side that he's on, there's a 50% chance that he can get into the closet. So um, I wouldn't take any chances if you're wanting to not keep him in the closet uh, no, yeah if you don't want him to go in the closet but anyways yeah just kind of repeat this if he's ever in the closet make sure you're fast at the doors just in case because he's still really active inside of the closet so uh keep that in mind don't spend too much time looking at the bed or anything like that because you don't have that much time to spare because it's getting into the later nights and yeah but anyways I mean, that's ma most of what's happening. Uh, it's 4 a.m., so just kind of keep this up. Go to each door, listen for breathing, shut the door if needed. Uh, right there, I checked uh, the light to see where he was, so he was right there. So uh, if you ever do that, it'll startle you probably. But um, if you do it again later on, it, he doesn't jump scare you like that. So just so you know. But yeah, anyways, just... Uh, make sure you wait at the doors for long enough that you can hear breathing. If there's no breathing, make sure flash a light. Make sure they leave the end of the hallway if they're there. Um, but yeah, Bonnie and Chica are pretty simple uh, in their mechanic-wise. Foxy's a little more complicated, and he might be a, a, more of a problem this night. So 
uh, if you have any questions about Foxy, just let me know, and I can, I'll be happy to help you with any tips you need. But yeah, keep checking the doors. The bed shouldn't be that much of a problem. Make sure you don't spend too much time on the bed or at the doors. Uh, you don't. You need any extra time you can to close the closet door to make sure that Foxy doesn't um, come at you. But yeah, once again, if you ever hear Chica in the kitchen on the right side, uh, that's a good time to, you know, say you check the left door and you hear Chica in the kitchen, I would just go ahead and check the closet and shut that door for longer than usual just to get Foxy back quite a bit. But yeah, if Chica's not in the kitchen, just door, door, closet, bed, door, door, bed, closet, door, bed, door, closet, whichever cycle you want to do, just make sure you keep that cycle the entire night. If you ever break that cycle, it could be a big problem later on because it might throw off the amount of time Foxy gets uh, the door close on him or, you know, Chica or Bonnie at the door, they could come in and kill you. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. It's pretty similar to last night, just a little more fast moving and you need to pay more attention to Foxy because uh, he can be pretty active this night. So you need to make sure that you don't, you know, let him uh, get to his side and let him enter. But yeah, so make sure you always keep track of which side he's on if you don't know uh just try your best but it, even if he gets in the closet it's still pretty simple to beat the night just make sure you're smart about it and yeah so that's m mainly that night but yeah i'll get night four out probably within next week but i'll try um but yeah this little mini game right here is after you complete night three so yeah it's takes a little bit of time so i'll let you just watch it but you just kind of interact with these kids and stuff but yeah i also will show fun with plush trap so if you need help with that um i might make a video on that after all the videos um i might just make a single video on like what to do about him but yep mainly just for plush trap you just need to like wait in the room don't flash the light at all just listen so say you hear him run once that means he's in the far left or right door if you hear him run again it means he's on the close left or right door and then after that you just need to wait until you hear kind of a little bit of movement before and then you flash the light you'll see what i mean when i actually do it but also there's a little jump scare right here so be ready by his brother so be ready for that but yeah so that should be everything of course uh any questions let me know um yeah, I should be streaming a lot during this next week because I have spring break. So, yeah, that'll be fun. Hope to see you guys there. And, yeah, enjoy fun with Plush Drop. See ya.